Is it possible, I apologize, this is a really dumb question, but is it possible to that a proof will come out that P equals NP, but an algorithm that makes P equals NP is impossible to find? Um, is that like crazy? Okay, well, well, if P equals NP, it would mean that there is such an algorithm. Right? It, that it exists, but, yeah. But, um, um, you, you know, it would, it, would, it would mean that it exists. Now, you know, in practice, normally the way that we would prove anything like that would be by finding the algorithm. By finding okay? one algorithm. But there is such a thing as a non-constructive proof That's that right. an algorithm exists. You know, this has really only reared its head, I think, a few times in the history of our field. Right, but you know, it is it is theoretically possible that 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 such a thing could happen. But you know, there are so even here there are some amusing observations that one could make. So there is this famous observation of Leonid Levin, who was you know one of the original discoverers of NP completeness, right? And he said, "Well, consider the following algorithm that, like, I I guarantee will solve the NP problems efficiently, just as provided that P equals NP." Mm -hmm. Okay, here is what it does. It just runs, you know, it enumerates every possible algorithm in a gigantic infinite <laughs> list, yeah. right? From like in like alphabetical order, right? Yeah. You know, and, and many of them maybe won't even compile. So we just ignore those. Okay, but now we just, you know, run the first algorithm. Then we run the second algorithm. We run the first one a little bit more. Then we run the first three algorithms for a while. We nice. run the first four Got for it. a while. This is called dovetailing, by the mm -hmm. way. This is a known trick in um, uh, um, theoretical computer science. Okay, but we do it in such a way that you know whatever is the algorithm out there in in uh, in our list that solves. NP complete, you know, the NP problems efficiently will eventually hit that one, mm -hmm. right? And now the key is that whenever we hit that one, you know, it, 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 you know, by assumption, it has to solve the problem, has to find the solution. And once it claims to find the solution, then we can check that ourselves, right? Because there, these are because NP, NP problems, yeah. then we can check it. Now, this is utterly impractical, yeah. right? You know, you'd have to do this enormous exhaustive search among all the algorithms, but from a certain theoretical standpoint, that is merely a constant prefactor. Right? It's at that's least merely, possible. That's merely a multiplier of your running time. So there are tricks like that one can do to say that in some sense the algorithm would have to be uh, constructive. But you know, in 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 the in the human sense, you know, it is possible that to you know it's conceivable that one could prove such a thing uh, via a non-constructive method. Is is that likely? I don't think so. Yeah. Person, not 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 personally.